Glad to have you join us on the first edition of Tech Trends in 2016. Happy New Year to all our viewers from across the world. You are watching Channels Television, the 10-time winner of the best TV station of the year. Incredible, if you ask me. As soon as the announcement was made, I tweeted, this is the result when you merge the best of brains and technology. We promise you nothing but richly rewarding editions of Tech Trends week after week. On today's show, I'll be chatting with one of India's founding fathers of the IT industry. A mobile app of the week helps you set goals. And our giveaway segment is also starting hot, so watch out for this week's prizes. My name is Chukameka Agbata, and this is Tech Trends. A community of Indonesian artists is using technology to promote its mural, with hopes that this would attract tech-savvy tourists and boost the local economy. Most of the murals in the area are scannable through a smartphone app, Indonesia in Your Hand, which allows visitors to understand the creation process of the artwork. Amplified reality technology, which has rapidly grown since 2010, is not new to the world, but it's a first for Indonesia. The German town of Nunen has been using a similar technology to introduce the works of Vincent van Gogh, who used to live there. At Dago Pajok, they began implementing the technology after the app company offered a collaboration. Murals are the way this creative village expresses itself. So we decided to implement augmented reality technology on these murals. This village is probably the first augmented village. At the same time, we hope to increase the number of domestic and international visitors so the profit, especially in culinary and handicraft businesses, will increase. It will also help the economy of this creative village. The company is currently cooperating with Indonesia's Tourism Board to create a nationwide service to promote tourism. Ramad Jabaril, the brain behind the project, says the adoption of the app is in line with the core values of the local artists. We are open to traditional and modern values. We emphasize the importance of tolerance and constantly combine our culture with the Western culture. In Bandung, there are now creative areas like Dago Pajok, and the local government hopes to replicate the project in all 30 districts of the city in the next three years. DJI Technology, a company that claims 70% of the commercial drone market worldwide, has opened its first flagship retail store in China. According to its director of strategic partnerships, Michael Perry, he says the 800 square meter shop aims to help the Chinese firm expand its customer base. We've now reached a size where we think we can reach a broader set of, of consumers beyond the early adopters, beyond the tech guys who are just adopting new technology, but to a broader consumer market who are really excited about the technology, but they want to understand it before they use it. People surrounded a flying cage inside the store and watched as staff flew drones during demonstration sessions. I think this is quite good. When my child is older, I will buy one for him so he can play with it. This is good. The store opening came less than a week after U.S. Federal Aviation Administration's decision to require drone operators as young as 13 years old to register their unmanned aircraft. China's aviation regulator this month also published provisional rules aiming to hold drone operators more accountable and control where commercial and private unmanned aerial vehicles may fly. For the Orient Spire, I can change to this system, right? This is only the holder for the propeller. The rules, which are less severe than regulations being considered by US and Europe, came after a series of security breaches including an incident where a civilian drone photographed a Chinese fighter jet as it prepared to land. 
we feel like the long-term effect on sales will be beneficial because you'll have a, a regulated environment where the technology can operate effectively and legally. In a gray zone uh, type system, there might be people saying, well, I could use this, but I may not know if I'm using it legally or not. Research firm Taibo Intelligence forecasts Chinese drone industry revenue to more than double to $388 million this year and grow by as much as eightfold by 2020. Apple and China Union Pay announced a partnership to bring the digital wallet of Apple Pay to China. According to a joint statement from the companies, China Union Pay card holders will be able to link their bank cards to Apple Pay on iPhone, Apple Watch and iPad and make payments without cash or cards. Research company analysis show that China is Apple's second largest market after the United States. Market leader Alipay has more than 400 million users, including 270 million who regularly make payments using mobile phones. Another competitor for Apple Pay is Tencent's WeChat payment. WeChat has around 549 million users in China. China Union Pay, which has issued more than 5 billion bank cards at home and abroad, launched its own digital wallet for phones jointly with over 20 commercial banks. Apple Pay will be made available to China Union Pay card holders as early as 2016 after certification by Chinese regulators.